Hello everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics, and today we're going to talk about our options for remote camera control. So we're going to talk about remote camera control. And the reason why we're going to talk about remote camera control is because, make that E a little better, um, and this one too, because a lot of people want to set up a live stream or even a video conference and they want to be able to put that camera anywhere in the world and be able to control it remotely. So now not only is it allowing audiovisual integrators to provide a service so that they can control the entire live show and the cameras from anywhere in the world, but also corporate organizations and different training facilities can now take control of our robotic PTZ cameras here. Um, with three different major options. So one, this is my favorite, and we're gonna show this in the next video, is Zoom Video Conferencing. So within Zoom Video Conferencing, you can control our PTZ Optics cameras. So I really like that, because then you can just plug in the USB. So we're gonna be going all over all of these with the USB connection directly to your computer, and you get video and control and you can bring in the video really easily from anywhere in the world. You just connect over a video conference call. Super, super easy. So that's the first one we're going to look at. Number two is we have our Roco Soft control software. And you'll notice that there's like three different major parts of this. One is we can control over IP. So that would be over the network port, and I'm going to show all the ports in this video as well. So that's, uh, let's put, let's do just like this. Sub, so one would be over IP, that's an Ethernet port. Two is called UVC, and that's the protocol that we use for USB cables. And then three, the third one is we can use Visca. And Visca uses the RS-232 port. Those are the three main control softwares that we can offer. So that's, that's a control software that requires a Windows computer to be on the network and connected to the cameras in some way, whether it be over a network port, over a USB cable, or over an RS-232 cable. That's number one, that's number two. And then our third option is a direct IP connection. And what I mean by that is that directly connecting to the camera on the network, we can control the pan, tilt, zoom, and call presets. And this, this is the free option. This is a lot of people like that. So the uh, first option with that would be to be on the LAN. That's the local area network. Okay, so if you're a company that has a local area network that spans the globe, which is possible, you could just type in the IP address of the camera and you can control it from another building or from another country. The other s situation is a VPN, so a virtual private network. So if you're outside of the local area network, but your IT department can provide you a VPN, a local area network in, we can use that. And then the third option is creating what's called an external IP address. And that, now keep in mind our cameras do have a username and password. You have to talk to your IT department about this, but you basically take an internal IP address and make it available to the outside world, outside your network, via an external IP address. So that can be done as well. So those are the three main ways. Let's take a quick look at the back of our camera here. And I'm gonna show you all the, the actual ports that we're gonna be using. So very easy to set up, and now just imagine you know you're setting this up as so you're having someone set this up for you. You're a completely different country, and you, they plug it in for you, and you plug in the USB. Well, you pull that into Zoom video conferencing, and now you can control it remotely. And we're going to show that in our next video. Right there, we plugged in the network port, and the network port allows you to control it over an IP address. 
Uh, HDMI we just plugged in for video in case you want to have a local confidence monitor. And then finally, there's that RS-232 port that we can plug in. We could use a joystick controller locally, but we can also convert the RS-232 to a DB9 to USB input and get some really nice control through our control software right here, which is available via IP, UVC, or RS-232. So I hope this video has been helpful. Stay tuned for our next three videos, which are basically going to go over, oh, let's go to here. Um, it's basically gonna go over Zoom video conferencing is gonna be video number one, Roco soft control software over a local area network or the wide area network using the external IP. And then finally, we're gonna show our IP control software. Um, and I guess I forgot to mention that there is an open source there's an open source, can, yeah, you guys can see that, open source control software as well, free download from our site that you can use to, um, to use on the local area network. Um, and uh, so we're going to dig into all of that in this video series. Sorry it took a little long, but thanks for tuning in and we'll get on to the next video. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video and don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.